What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux in today's video, girl. Oh, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Girl, you won't believe the freaking drama, okay? So, girl, I cannot believe we're talking about this, girl. Nikki Tutorials, girl. Nikki, anything for views, lovers to match. Tutorials. Here's the tea. So, Nikki Tutorials got invited to the Marc Jacobs event that they have going on in New York City. So, I think it's some type of fashion show. And you already know, Laura the Leech. Laura Lee, love her so much. And of course, Copper Eyelid, Nude Lip, Manny Mway, love her so much. They were all in New York City. Now, I don't think if they were hanging out together, I don't even know. I don't even care. But I can, you know, knowing Nikki, she probably is like, oh, hi guys, if I see y'all, see y'all. I think if I was like a really mega famous beauty and Influencer. I don't think I would like hang around that many other beauty influencers just because it tends to be like so much drama I would just be like girl. I love you so much. I love you. I respect you But I just want to do my own thing if I see you I see you like that. You know what I'm saying? I think that's how I would do it and I think that's how Nikki does it. I'm not sure I'm no proof, but I think that's how she does it. Cause she, Nikki tutorial stays in her own lane. You know what I'm saying? She's rarely in any drama. Girl, seriously, please give a thumbs up for my little decorations. You don't understand how long it took me to hang that up, girl, okay? So just give it a thumbs up, all right? I don't wanna hear it. Okay, and also, you see this freaking makeup look I did? Girl, blended it out, girl. Yes, ma'am, I did that. And I did it all with one palette. This one right here. I know y'all were like, what the hell kind of palette is that, girl? I freaking bought this palette months ago and I've never used it until now. It came with like a little crappy brush, but I used this color and a little bit of the white and a little bit of one of these browns to achieve this look here. Ooh. But uh, yeah, this palette is pretty sickening, girl. And I got it at Ulta, I think it was like a couple dollars. Like, it wasn't that expensive. Um, but I just like how like, it has like that fake pony hair up here. And the design is just like, I'm fantastic, made in plastic, love it so much. So anyway, so Nikki Tutorials was in her hotel room. No, but seriously. So I was like, Nikki Tutorials has died. Why? Because you would think like, okay, Nikki Tutorials girl is not a small petite woman. She's like about six foot ten or something like that. That's what people say. And so you would think a woman being that tall, that powerful, that many subscribers, you know she's making bank on YouTube, girl. That's not play, girl. I see her jewelry and her bags, okay? She ain't no broke girl, okay? She ain't up there begging for bars and stuff and begging for likes, girl, okay? So you would think that she'd be all almighty, powerful, confident. No, ma'am. Here's what she said on her Snapchat. So I need to vent. I have to, and you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay on the floor. Hello. Okay. So tomorrow, actually no, in a couple of hours, I have to leave for the airport because I have the amazing opportunity. I got invited by Mark Jacobs to attend his fashion show at New York Fashion Week and um, do dinner like with a lot of influencers and like it's an amazing trip and I'm so grateful and I'm, and I'm excited but there's a but to the story and I don't know if everybody knows this but I used to do fashion week makeup not New York but like I did Amsterdam and I just I did makeup for fashion week so I'm comfortable with the fact that I did that and I used to be behind the scenes but now that I'm invited to do something like to be a part of this like to go to a show freaks me out so much and i've been having anxiety for like two days now and it's for absolutely no good reason but all i'm thinking about is i'm so not like the people that sit there and look all fashionable and enjoy the show that's just something i've never done before and anxiety I mean, yes, I have been to fashion shows, I, kn I know what it's like, but never something as high profile as Marc Jacobs at N New York Fashion Week. And it, it just, it freaks me out and it's hard for me to explain. I feel like I will be the odd one out that doesn't know anything about fashion. I feel like I'm going to be that odd makeup girl who just sits there and I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, oh, another influence, you know? Again, for no good reason am I having these thoughts, but I need to let them out because hopefully it will get it out of my system. But I am, I'm nervous for this one, you guys. I'd rather just p paint the night away and brush the night away with all my brushes than 
know anything about I don't know anything about fashion. <laughs> Again, I don't know why I'm sharing this or if I should share this because people will probably see this as insecurities. And you know what? Yeah. And I'm not, a, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit that. I am scared in a way. So yeah, I'm just venting my heart. And I'm also sad because I haven't been able to film for my channel. So then that goes into my brain. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm letting everyone down. Plus I have no fashion sense. <laughs> Girl, Nikki Tutorial is having anxiety because she doesn't want to hang around the bougie girls, honey. But then, I don't know. She she says that. But then, like, later on in her snap, she was talking about how bougie she feels and how bougie she looks. And this is the bougiest I've ever looked in my life. And I'm like, oh, girl. And now I'm starting to think, girl, okay. She probably had a small inkling of social anxiety because like, I get it too sometimes. Sometimes I walk into a room and I'm like, girl, why am I here? My fat ass does not even be here. And I'm usually at the club with the other gay people. And I'm like, girl, but then I start having a good time and I bother, girl. So you know damn well, Nikki Tutorials is probably having a little anxiety. But once she started getting the free goodie bags and hanging out with Mark Jacobs, girl, she was like, oh, girl, not bother the house. I don't know. I think it was really cool that she opened up about her anxiety and stuff like that. Cause, and it's so, like, refreshing because some YouTubers don't talk about it, girl. You know? Like, they just don't. So, it was really cool to see that side of her and I love her so much. So, I freaking went and I bought some more makeup. But, it's from the drugstore, okay? And I'm just gonna share it with you. Okay. So, the first thing I bought, this is, like, new to me. Okay? The Illuminating Face Primer by e.l.f. And it says Radiant Glow. Really? So I just want to see, like, how radiant is this Radiant Glow by, by e.l.f., okay? So I put some on. I'm just going to, like, put this on there. Um, I don't know how well that would actually look on my face, though. See, now, now it looks like I'm golden. Oh, let's see if it has, like, a scent to it. Hold on. Okay, so it does have a scent to it. And it smells like, and I wouldn't, I don't want to say it smells like chemicals. It just kind of smells like a, like a thick makeup. Like, you know, like what MAC foundation smells like? This what kind of that smells like, okay? So I'm rubbing it in there. We'll give it some time to like air it out or whatever before. I want someone to like compare. So here's like my busted hand without it. And then here is it is. And here it is with it. So there, I would say like there is a radiant glow and that was your radiant glow face, but that's pretty cute though. I mean, would, would you want this all over your face? Illuminating face primer. Huh, okay, anyways, let's move on. We'll, we'll come back to that. Here's my, my fingers, girl. All right, so the next thing I got was this right here. This is the Lip Plumping Gloss by e.l.f. And this is Champagne Glam, girl. Okay, so this is what it looks like. The packaging is really, really cute. And like, it says new. Like, this is a new product, okay? So I'm gonna get some of it here. That's what that looks like there. And we're just gonna put some right in here. All right, and so you can see the little shimmers. So I'm gonna put some on, so here's my lips. Oh, yeah, do you like my lips? Okay, girl, okay, girl, hold on, let me see. Girl, busted the house, girl. No, ma'am. I don't know, girl. I don't. This is a pass for me. My lips, they're not like Kylie Jenner's. I don't know. I'm just not like, I'm not there yet in my life where I want like big plumpy lips. Like, just not there yet. Um, But this Champagne Glam, I mean, okay, girl, it's doing something right now. It's like tingling and it's like a cooling sensation on my lips right now. Which is weird because I wear so many layers of lipstick. I'm surprised that it was able to like penetrate through that and even do anything to my lips. But regardless, I'm going to have to pass on that drama. Okay. Remember the elf thing? It's almost like, and there's like a shimmer in there too. It almost looks like you're golden. Like, would you want that on your skin? Huh, I don't know. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was another new highlighter by e.l.f. 
They, I don't, girl, Elf has comes out. Elf has came out with so many highlighters recently. It's kind of hard to keep up. So this one is called Sunset Glow. All right, so here's the packaging. Really cool, minimalistic. Kind of remind me of like throwback Apple computers at Black MacBook. Okay, we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna make sure I have anything on here. Okay, so this is Sunset Glow. Man, I'll put that, okay, I'll put that right in here. I don't really think that's fair because, yeah, you get what I'm saying? I don't think that's fair to put it there because of the illuminating whatever. So here we go. I'll just be generous. I don't want to like, you know, goopy all the house. Okay. So that's Sunset Glow. Um, I would say like it matches me pretty well, actually. Yeah, this one matches me pretty good. And that's what that looks like. And here's what it is. There. Like, what is that, $3, $4? So then I got another e.l.f. highlighter. So this one's called Starlight Glow. All right, so here's the packaging again, same thing. And this is Starlight Glow. Okay, let me just this finger right here. Okay. Oh, man, I messed up. This one. Okay, so here we go for Starlight Glow. It's going to be, yeah, this one. All right, we're going to put Starlight Glow right in here. And we'll be generous with it. All right. Okay, Sunset Glow, Starlight Glow. So you can see one of them is a little lighter than the other one. This one almost looks a little chalky, but it's not. That's just the way it is. And so, yeah. Let me like try to put some on, okay? So this is the lighter one, Starlight Glow. And I'm just gonna like put it up in here. And I'm gonna be like really generous with it. And I know you were like, well, with me, how come you don't use the one that's your color? Well, because I don't think you would really see it. This one looks really good. Like, it just, like, pops really good. Okay, you see that? Cool. Okay, so this is the other one. Okay, so this is going to be Sunset Glow, and I'm just going to grab some of, it, some of that in there. And we're going to put some in here. And like I said, it matches me, like, really, really well. So, hold on, girls. Ooh. Let me see. I gotta bring that out, girl. Hi. Bring it out the house. Not bother. I kind of like this one better. Even though this one matches me pretty. I can't really see it from this angle. But this one's like more gold, like a gold tone. And this one's more like a cooler tone. But. Yeah, let me know what you think about those. I mean, regardless for the price, girl, I mean, it's like a steal because that's like what, four, six dollars for the highlighters that I just picked up at the at the Target, Walmart, Asda, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's like really, really affordable and you can order online. And also, I mean, compared to other highlighters that like you'll pay like 29, 30, 40, 50, 60 dollars for even, that can give you the same effect. And if you're only gonna wear it for the night, you know, Perfect. Okay, so the next thing I picked up is gonna be this e.l.f. powder brush. Now, I bought this brush before and I used it so much that this part, or was, yeah, this part just like broke off, right? And I remember when this broke off, it, I was, I did like a live stream and I was like talking on live stream and I was like using it and it like broke off on live stream, okay? So I bought me another one. Um, it's, it was a good brush, it just broke, you know? And I remember when that happened, a subscriber sent me this because of that. This is the Marc Jacobs brush. And this brush was like $75. And I was like, it's so expensive that I'm like, girl, I don't know if I want to like use it. It's so expensive. I have used it and I, I try to clean it as much as I can. Because I do, this is like a really expensive brush, right? But I always tend to buy two of everything. Like one really good expensive stuff and then like one everyday cheap thing I could use and throw out whatever. This is like how my mind, God, this thing is like really messing with my lips, girl. This feels weird. I think it's getting, are my lips all fat and plumpy, girl? I don't know. So it just, it's, it's giving me a sensation that I'm not appreciating. Okay, you're gonna like, you're gonna kill me. Okay, so I bought another freaking highlighter. And this one is going to be Apricot Glow. Ooh. It's just like a baked highlighter. So, I, you know, people say that you should like wet it a little bit. That's what they say. And I'm just gonna put apricot glow like right here. And so, let me just try to give you, you see how that has like more of like a tint to it? And that's apricot glow right there. Um, 
I don't like it, but I don't know why I don't like it, but I don't like it. But it it pops, and I, I didn't put that much on there, but imagine if I was to wet it, which I think when it comes to baked powders, baked highlighters, you're supposed to like, you know, wet it a little bit, and then, you know, apply it, and I think it pops more. So just keep that in mind. All right, so the next thing I got is gonna be these two little see-through things, right? So I picked these up at the drugstore and these what what how much were these i don't know they were like i think like four or three dollars and they're see-through and i just like i love these because like i'm not trying to sound like bougie or anything right but i like really expensive travel bags and the last thing i want to do is get my um is get my makeup brush and throw it in the bag you know because i don't want the makeup to get in the lining of the bag right like my expensive handbags but then I was thinking, but then I, I have a bag for my makeup, right? For like my compacts and all that stuff, right? But then I was like, but I don't want to put the brushes in there either because I don't want the makeup to get on those products. So I was like, I'll just give me like a separate little makeup bag or whatever for brushes. And that's what I did with this. So I, that way everything like has its place and everything will be clean. And that's just like the process thought or whatever. Does that makes sense? I hope it does. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the swatches and all that drama. And like, I just want to kick back with you and talk about it, girl, and to show you what I bought. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like seriously, if you did, leave me a thumbs up. It really helps me out so much. You just don't even know. And just leave a comment about whatever, girl. I love you so much. Cause I actually read them. Like, I actually, I may not read them right there and then, but I do take time out of my day and I do like read them and stuff like that. So I really do appreciate you when you do leave comments. But as always, if you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters when they watch it. They lost 10 minutes of our life, they'll never get back. All right, see you in the next video. Bye, love you so much.